when a person starts feeling this amount of dis-ease, it gets unbearable after a while, doesn't it? It gets feeling horrible. So people start to do something to try to relieve their dis-ease. True? And we call all these depression and anxiety and panic attacks and, and psychosomatic, we call these uh, internalizing disorders. They have lists and lists of them. There's one, there is one mental illness, folks. It's chronic mental stress. It's the only mental illness there is. I've never seen a human being have anything that they put in the DSM ICD-10 that wasn't from, in, from psycho, psycho, what they call psychiatric illness that wasn't from chronic mental stress. Now, mania or hypomania, where people have this incredible energy and they go for days without sleep and they, they're, they're sometimes psychotic and they're right and they're doing all kinds of strange things. Mania is again, it's a, an attempt to try. I've been asking people in the last two years that had mania and hypomanic episodes. What was the last thing you remember before you went into your mania or your hypomania? And every one of the ones that could remember said, my depression had gotten so bad that I was truly considering suicide. One of them told me, I, I, the last thing I remember, I was going to kill my wife, my two children, and then myself. Because I had failed them economically, and I was not going to have them suffer. Do you see, what, what did mania do for that man? Saved four people's lives. Saved four people's lives, it kept him alive. And also, it got the cavalry involved. In the United States, we say, it got people involved, right? If you're setting fires in the middle of the street, or you're running around with no clothes on, or you're handing out $100 bills on the corner, you get attention. Mania is an attempt of divine mind to keep a person alive at the level of understanding that they're at. That's Bill Pettit's version of this. Dust it off. Psychosis, including schizophrenia, what we call schizophrenia. Psychosis is the world I've created in my head is so painful. I have to go to another world. The world I've created in my head is so painful, I have to go to another world. I'll give you an example of this. When I was a Navy uh, resident, and, and I had a lady that had two, sm two, or two small children, and her husband, this is 1976, a long time ago, 40 years ago, she was going, he was going out on the aircraft carrier and they went out for 12 months at a time. There was no, all the internet and all the stuff we have now, right? So she would maybe get letters, whatever letters he sent, and a, and a couple of phone calls in 12 months. So she goes off, and, and they, they said, you know, he probably shouldn't get pregnant, but their religion, religion said you can't do anything to stop that from happening, and she got pregnant. So she was six months pregnant when he goes off to her 12 months on the carrier. Three months into his 12-month deployment, she has this baby. She's overwhelmed. She's as a lady that tended to spend 8 to 10 to 12 hours a day stressing out, worrying about things. And now she has all the hormonal changes of, that occur with pregnancy and afterwards. And she goes into a postpartum depression. And she starts having urges to take the butcher knife and to kill this little baby. All she would have had to do when she started feeling overwhelmed, if anybody's ever been in the military, I'm sure the same in, 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 the, in, uh, in the UK, if she would have called the, the wives club for her squadron, they would have, a lady would have been over, one of the other ladies would have come over for two hours in the morning, two hours in the afternoon, two hours in the evening, and they would have taken turns sleeping over with her if, they, if she needed that. They really support each other. But you know what she did? She should have done herself. Not good to should on yourself. She said, I should be able to do this. My mother 
did it for seven of us kids. My father was an over-the-road truck driver. Sometimes he didn't come home for two weeks. Sometimes he came over on the weekend. I should be able to do this. Even though her common sense and divine mind was saying, you're overwhelmed, you need some help right now. So what happened? Divine mind created a delusion, in my, in my way of understanding, universal mind, created a delusion to keep that baby alive, that the baby was her baby brother that had died of pneumonia when she was 12 and he was 2. And now she cared for that baby, baby brother, for about four weeks. But she was still spending 8, 10, 12 hours a day. So she then started having breakthrough again. She had breakthrough urges to take the butcher knife and stab the baby to death. To me, divine mind had to it used the queens and kings that had to use the ace. In a Christian belief system, it formed the delusion that she was the Blessed Virgin Mary. And the baby was the baby Jesus. Pretty unlikely Blessed Virgin Mary is going to kill the baby Jesus. True? They found her naked, feces all over, urine all over, singing religious songs to the baby Jesus. Now, that sounds really crazy, doesn't it? But do you see that that psychotic delusion saved the baby's life, probably the other two children's life, and then she would probably would have killed herself. We read it in the papers all the time. Spreading and sharing the principles for a long time.